Yeah, guys, I just um, just want to mention a few things uh, about the channel. Uh, firstly, um, you know, feel, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. Um, I want to try to be as informative as I as I can. Uh, the reason being, I, uh, I struggled to find um, a fair bit of decent local information, um, particularly on, on YouTube about these cars. Um, so I just thought I'd just um, do another video here. I'm driving the car, I just have to uh, do a few things. And I wanted to talk about... Um, let me put the window up here. Uh, now when I bought this thing, uh, it used a lot of oil during the running process. It used uh, probably about a litre and a half of oil within 1,500 kilometres. And I was a little concerned initially. Then I did some research, uh, found some information from some guys in the States. Um, just about uh, the consumption that some guys are having over there. Uh, and I thought, oh, geez, I'm, I'm doomed here. I've got a bad one. Because, uh, you know, guys are going through lots and lots of all, even, you know, 10, 15,000 Ks. So I was a bit worried initially, but uh, anyway, I did my first oil change of 7,700 kilometers. I did it myself. Uh, at this rate, I'm doing them every five or 6,000 Ks. Uh, good thing to note, guys, if you've got one of these with a digital dash, uh, check out the oil usage, um, the oil life gauge, which is in the trip computer. Um, these actually undertake an analysis of, of the use of the oil based on how you drive the car. So. Um, which I find to be quite accurate actually. The last sump of oil I did in November, before the recent change, I had done about um, 4,000 Ks on that oil and I'd gone to roll racing three times. Uh, averaged about um, uh, 13 runs every time I went. So it's about, what, 36, you know, just 35, six, seven, eight runs, something like that. And uh, the oil usage was down to about 33%. So it used 67% of the oil life within 4,000 Ks. So, you know, I, I drove it pretty hard. So you're pretty happy with that. That's um, that's pretty accurate. So I thought, let's give it another oil change. Now, the first oil change I did back in November, I um, did it at 7,700. I was keen to do it because it was using a fair bit of oil and, and some recommended to cut the oil filter open and, and actually inspect the filter. Um, so I did that and I found a fair bit of metal and sparkle, sparkly little bits of metal in the, in, in the filter and and I thought to myself, uh, okay, well, let's give it this sump of oil. And when I do the next change, I'll open the filter up again. So um, I did that at 7,700, took it roll racing three times. Uh, did the oil change about 250 Ks ago at 11,700. Cut the filter open and uh, there wasn't much oil, uh, metal in the filter at all. So, um, so that's a good sign that the engine was just sort of running itself in and it hasn't continued to chew itself up. So I was keen to get that sump of oil out of it, put another sump in it, and I'll do it again. I'll cut the filter open again, probably another 4,000, 5,000 Ks, depending on the usage of the of the car. Like I'm going roll racing again next week and might go a couple more times on this sump of oil. But um, the most important thing I want to get across is, uh, you know, if you buy one of these things out of the factory, don't, don't rely on, on the 15,000k scheduled service before checking your oil or, or, or even doing the intermediate change yourself. Uh, look, I imagine if I never popped the bonnet and checked the oil on this thing and I just drove to 15,000k's, it would still wouldn't be due for 3,000 kilometers. And uh, geez, I'd hate to think of the state of the oil. Uh, also, the not only the volume of oil that's in there, but also. You know, the part, the particulates, the metal the, that that was in there, and and, and the slight metallic um, shavings that are found in there it wasn't major, but it was enough to, you know, sort of in my mind, it sort of coincided with an engine running. But let me know, go, let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, that, that's it, mate. Look, also I um, I just want to just talk about this doing your old oil, your own oil changes, avoid your warranty. Look, I've spoken to both the dealer where I bought the car from and Ford in in Melbourne. I told them I'm doing it myself because they kept chasing me for, you know, but your, your car's due, your car's due. You know, they know I'd, I'd done two oil changes myself since then. I told them I've done them myself. And I said, um, how's, that, how's that work out with warranty? And uh, they pretty much said to me, look, as long as you're keeping records of what you're doing, um, you know, documenting it. And, and, and in my opinion, that's taking photographs of the oil change, keeping receipts of the oil and documenting it uh, with the kilometers you do it. Um, me that's documentation look you know with the mods i've got on on this thing the e85 the headers the intake the tune all that i wouldn't expect that ford warrant a, a failed engine or a transmission but 
um, you know, with these mods in A, this thing's, there's not going to be any issues with this thing. It's, it's going to be completely rock solid. Um, and uh, that's a benefit of NA. Uh, you know, uh, boost is a different story. Yeah, you can do it reliably on boost, but you know, if you're going to boost one of these, you want to do it with the 85 because it uh, helps the engine out a fair bit. You can put more timing in it safely, but you do that, if you've got 900 horsepower, that for the street's too much. And then again, you know, good luck with long term reliability and, 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 and issue of free motoring. Run it NA, 550 horsepower. This is probably about 410 kilowatts. This thing's running at the moment. You know, it's, it's going to go forever, mate. There's not going to be any issues with it. So, anyway, guys, I'll leave it at that. Like I said at the start of the video, um, yeah, subscribe if you're keen for some more information. Um, feel free to, to throw some comments in. If you've got any questions, I'll, I'll try to get up to all the comments. Um, and share it. If it's information you feel like it, it might be helpful to other friends you guys have got or, or, or anyone that's interested in these cars, feel free to share it. Okay, guys, I'll leave it at that. Um, Take it, take it easy. Have a have a good time, and uh, I'll try to get another video out before I go roll racing. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a video on how to how I prep the car before going roll racing. So I'll uh, I'll probably throw that in. So you know, have a have a good time, guys.